Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you another living room update. We've been living in this house for about a month and a little bit now and this room is nearly done. So I'm just going to share the bits that we got. Last time I updated you there was lots that we needed to do. I asked for lots of your opinion um, which really really helped me and you will see when I show you where things have gone um, in their final locations that I actually took into account a lot of your feedback and advice. So I'm just going to show you what's different, what I've added and what our living room looks like now. Um, we just need to get a few more things and it will be finished. So let me show you around. So a few things have changed since we last spoke and we now have a rug which you can see there and I'm going to try and get close so you can see it better. It's a really nice soft and fluffy rug but it's not shaggy um, which is why I love this. I wanted something that was quite dense and fluffy and we got this from uh, Donelm. And I'll leave everything linked below and this was so reasonably priced. We also got one of those things that the rug sticks to so um, it doesn't slip and slide which is great. But yeah that's our rug and it takes kind of center place in our living room. And then on the sofa we've got some new cushion covers. So this one here which brings a little bit of color to the room is pink and gray and cream. That was from Amazon and I'll leave it linked below. It's a little bit creased but I really like it. This was from Danelm. Um, this was from Danelm as well. I really like this geometric detail. And this one was from Danelm. Um, now our curtains which are there, they're new as well. They were from B&Q. And I really like them. They have kind of like a silver reflex running through them. So it's a little bit sparkly, but not nothing too much. Let me just shut them so you can see it properly. It has a hint of cream in it as well. And so it adds a little bit of warmth to the room. So that's our curtains. And then we still haven't decided what to do with that unit there. I don't know if you remember from my last video and I was asking your opinions on what to do. And I am I still wanna paint it. I just don't know what color I wanna paint it. So we haven't decided what to do yet. And it's still annoying me <laughs> that it's like that. And we haven't done that yet. Now let me show you behind me where you can see this. So we now have a little armchair that matches the sofa, the big sofa there on the corner. Um, and this is from Next and I love it. It's just such a perfect fit for that area. And I've put the painting that was above the fireplace over there. Let me know what you think. Do you think it looks okay? Um, I think it's a much better place for it because if I turn you around, you will see that I now have put, hello, uh, I've put the mirror up there. So that mirror is from Danelm and I love it and I think it's such a great fit and a lot of you said put a mirror above the fireplace and I thought it was a really good idea so I did and then the painting has gone over here. I'm still going to get a different lamp for that corner um, but I've kept the little nest of tables, I've kept the little basket with blankets and pillows and now I have this footstool or storage cube thing which I got from Wilco and it's amazing because we store the kids toys in there and it looks like it belongs in this room it just hides away all the clutter and mess at the end of the night and I love it we got a few more of those to store the kids toys um, because in our dining room we are going to store the kids toys in there we don't have a separate playroom um, so I bought three of those but the bigger size, which is more like a bench, I'm really out of breath, I don't know why. Um, but we're still to put that together and store the kids' toys in there. So let me show you um, the pillowcases on this sofa. So this one is from Donelm and it's got some sequins, which I love. This one was from Amazon and I think it's really nice as well. 
and over here we just have James's little table where he sits and eats and then I'm going to show you the bits and bobs that I got for the top of the fireplace. So I'm finally, I think, there with it. I kind of, I think I'm happy with it. I'm not too sure yet, but um, I added some bits and bobs. So this flower arrangement thing is from Danelm. This frame, which has mother of pearl detail on the edge there, is from Wilco. And I just put a photo of Isabella asleep. Very cute. This is from Next, this little candle holder mouse thing and I like that. The clock is also from Next, which I really like. This little tea light holder is from Amazon and again I have the same frame with a picture of James and this plant pot is from Next as well. So I think that is everything. I'm just going to give you a little pan around the room so you can see what it looks like at the moment. So we've got the little armchair sofa there, the painting, and then the fireplace, the mirror, TV. Oh yeah, we've put the TV up on the wall and we still need to put that cable, you know, tuck it under and hide it properly. We've got the new curtains, we've got the sofa, and that is it. It's not a massive room. Um, but I feel like we've definitely made it cozy and it's starting to feel more like a home with the little touches that we've added. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you would add. I still want to do something with that wall there because it's very bare and maybe do like a gallery wall or something like that but I feel like I want to add some personality to this room on that wall. And yeah, it's very neutral and very basic, but that is my taste at the moment. It might change, I'm sure it will. Our first house was all sort of warm tones and then this one is more cool tones and it's just the way that you change as a person as the years go by, you, your taste changes. Um, so I am open to lots of suggestions and decoration. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update around our living room. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to, sh to check out the description below for links to everything that I mentioned in this video. And if you're not subscribed already, I'd love for you to subscribe to see more videos from me, to see more home updates. Isabella's room is nearly ready, which is so exciting. So that'll probably be the next room that I will show you around. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.